Impact Person of the Year 2016. Of course, belongs to Vijay Shekhar Sharma, founder and CEO of KTV. Mr. Vijay Shekhar Sharma, it is congratulations, founder and CEO of KTM is Impact Person of the Year 2016. And while he's receiving the award, we also have a shot in the award. Mr. Vijay Shekhar Sharma, the award is presented by Colors and co powered by Sony Live. We live to entertain. Thank you. First of all, I'm a total outsider to this industry because I'm not a media or a advertising industry person, but I'm truly humbled with the choice and the selection here that I was company of such incredible people. So thank you everybody who was part of the company and jury who could allow me to be uh, there together and this is such an humbling to be in this list itself. Ladies and gentlemen, this is India's hour. This is the hour India has been waiting for ages and times. I came out of engineering college in 1998 and I had a dream to go to United States and build technology company, exactly not what I had a dream. I had a dream to stay in this country and make one day a company in this country that country will be proud of. I had a dream that this country will get its due, that this country will no more build IT services for the international customers and we will no more be a back office, we will be the front office. One day this country will build companies which will build technology for this country's countrymen. And I want to tell you today, this is the first time and this is just a beginning my friend, this is just a beginning ladies and gentlemen when India has started to build companies for the countrymen and fellow countrymen will be proud of. I am so happy and privileged here to become nothing but a just starting point of a mission and the vision of our country's forefathers which will come real to the world. This is the time our country has been waiting and hundreds of millions of consumers will be there. This is the time when the question, the arguably the biggest question, why India does not build a Google or a Facebook or a Microsoft will finally start to get answered because this is the time when India has people who will be the customers for Indian companies. And I want to tell you that this is also the time for Indian entrepreneurs to build companies which solve India's problem. This is the time for India to build companies that are not replicas of the Western or Eastern world. This is the time for India to build original Indian companies that will go and make our country proud when you land in a country which is a foreign land and then you say that, okay, I know this company because this is an Indian one. Wow. This is the time when each one of us will feel proud and happy about that we have companies in this country who do not just build world-class product but build the brand for the country and take that to the world and I'm so happy and privileged to become like I said the impact person of the year who will be one of the starting points in this journey. Eight November is a day in this country's history of 2016 that will be remembered as one of the landmark day in the history of this country. I am not a socialist, I am not a capitalist, and I am definitely not an economist. I do not know what are the evils and what are the good of this. I definitely do not know what is the positive outcome that could be and what is the negative outcome and the stress that we are all going through. I definitely know this country is going through a ton of stress. But I know one thing for sure. Whenever somebody has ever challenged the status quo, Whenever somebody has ever started to change what has been there, everybody around has first feel the pain and then got the gain of that pain that has happened. I know that this will be the pain that our kids will remember and the generations to come will remember because this is the first time India, third world, has an opportunity to become the first world in the digital world. This is the first time that India has taken a resolve when India will become the first world of the digital world where every person of this country knows how to use technology and build technology. 
Remember, we are the only country which was not privileged to build a language technology. You talk about Japan, you talk about Germany, you talk about, talk about China. They all build the technology in their own languages. And our country never built a technology in our own languages. This is a time when the world companies will come up to our corners and to our shores and build the country languages as the first language for this country. And the technology in the language this country men speak. And our fellow citizens will be the customers of that technology. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a time when every one of us in this room, every one of us around us is going through a new learning curve. Remember, India is taking three leaps in one shot, and this is exactly what is happening. The first leap is getting technology in their hands, the smartphone, the internet connection. And second leap is that they are also becoming a te technology savvy. Traditionally, people use things like Facebook, social networks, and messengers. But now the third leap of financial inclusion and technology is happening. Because the, when the money is digital, it takes you far. When the money is digital, it takes you far. And when the money is digital, it powers the country far more. Then when the money is cash, when the money is cash, it can go in the hands that you won't know. And it will create the use cases and the nuances that you will never want this country to have. When the money is digital, it will be tracked exactly the problem this has, exactly the asset this has. The flip side of the best thing is that it is really the worst side of this, that when money is digital, it will empower every poor of this country who has been deprived of even a simple bank account, my friend. A simple bank account which could have been the part of their roti, kapla, or makan agenda, which could have been the part of their very existence in this country that they should have been given the privilege to get a bank account. A poor in this country cannot get a loan because the rich in this country get the loan by speaking the language of the corridor and the gentleman doesn't know how to get the loan of even two lakh rupees. Do you know this that I'm the person who got a two lakh rupees loan for 24 percent of interest at a time when I was running my company and that loan became so big that for 8 lakh rupees for the same company I'm standing here, I sold 40% of my company. For 8 lakh rupees, I sold 40% of the company that in last round was more than 30,000 crore rupees worth. So that you know what the cost of 8 lakh rupees in this country is. And at Paytm, we have a resolve. We have a resolve that half a billion Indians which have been deprived of even a bank account they have been deprived of even the basic financial inclusion. They have been deprived of not just the money that they carry, but the deprived of the money they can't even walk into a bank and deposit it. We at Paytm has a resolve that by 2020, by 2020, Paytm will bring half a billion Indians to the mainstream of economy. And not just that is our vow, but that is exactly what our game is. And ladies and gentlemen in this room, I promise you one thing. I promise you one thing when you take such large resolve, the three guiding principles that I quote today will be the guiding light for us. No fear, no greed, and no entitlement. Because any one of them can take you to a corner that you will be in the dark. And this dawn is nothing better quoted than Jim Morrison when he said, no eternal awards will forgive us now for wasting the dawn. And India is at the forefront of this dawn. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for having me here.